talk about this next iteration of currency because that's what's going to complete things if we allow it. I, I personally, you talk about revolution, I talk about revolution because uh, I think that the, Ray Dalio talks about it because I think that that's actually what's going to happen and I'm actually quite hopeful because where do you see them wanting to take us with the CBDCs? Well, of course, a cross-border, cross-country, directly transferable kind of uh, control mechanism. This uh, absolutely, you know, this digital currency that, that central banks are going to link together in some way. This is where we're going. There's no doubt 100%. about it. And I think people like you and me and Gerald and stuff have talked about this for, for years. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that that's what they want. But it's about control. Everything is about control. The whole freaking scamdemic was about control. The whole uh -huh. thing, everything they're doing to people is to see what they can get away with, how far, how hard people are going to push back. Yes, there are certainly going to be, be, be people who are going to push back against this. But they're going to make it very, very difficult um, to try to, to sidestep this. Um, I don't personally think there's a way out at this point because they've covered every angle in this. They've, they've gone over this with regard to their own think tanks. Central banks have these think tanks. They, oh, they plan yeah. this stuff out. They've oh, planned yeah. it already. They already have the, this whole new system is probably already worked out. It's just a matter of how they're going to implement it. And I think they're going to go from crisis to crisis to crisis. We're going to get a... I think, honestly, what they're going to do, in my opinion, is we're going to march into another locking up of the system. Um, another, and maybe that we're seeing this now with this whole banking issue that yeah. they, that's now coming to like the downgrade of Moody's. By I think it was just ten banks with eleven more, and it's including some big ones on on a negative watch. So look, what they're going to do is going to be another financial crisis, uh, loss of purchasing power, and then maybe not even an availability of people to acquire their own cash out of these institutions, you know, a credit freeze kind of a locking up situation where people don't know, and I know you do, the big meltdown in 2008 was really not about the market. The stock market was cratering, but it was about the, the, the credit markets locking up. Exactly. Henceforth why they injected billions and billions of dollars into the system to try to uh, lock, uh, free, un unfreeze lock, it, <laughs> What's the unlock, word it. Unlock, unlock it, unlock it. it. <laughs> so it was locking up. So they had to do that to try to free up the system and, and that this time it would take many multiples of cash again on top of that. So I don't think exactly. they can do it. Yeah. So I oh. think an inevitable freezing up of the credit markets is going to occur. And that means, you know, debit cards don't work. Credit cards don't work. Can't go, can't get your cash out of these institutions or another major crisis. But hold on, everyone. We have a solution for you. This is what they're going to do. Problem, reaction, solution. It's always the same. Always. This is their playbook. They will not deviate from it. So I've been telling people this, and you probably have too, for a long time. Be ready for this kind of stuff because I do believe it's coming. And uh, again, they, they need a mass, they're going to need a massive outcry to for people to accept this. And by and large, I think most people will, going back to why they're creating dependency on the system. The current system must have more slaves to it, more people dependent on the government, which in my opinion right. is actually the central banks. And then once right. they establish this, uh, more as many people as they can get on board, then they can make the switch to the new system, which I think we've all seen coming. Probably everyone watching our work for X amount of time sees it coming as well. And then it'll be easier for them to implement this because they're more, they, they need and they are creating extreme dependency on the current system. So when it fails, again, oh, okay, don't worry about it. We have this for you. That's how they're going to do it. I can't imagine another way. And then they're going to blame Russia, China, some other thing, uh, another pandemic. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're going to point their fingers at that because it can't be pointed anywhere. It's got, they got to deflect the blame. Right off of the central banks, off of what, because I mean, look, they're running the entire show. It doesn't, and, 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 and they, they, they can't be allowed to look bad. Henceforth, why, yet again, you got, you know, Fed Chair Powell. It's interesting to watch what happens during the these so-called, uh, you know, every time, every FOMC meeting, he comes out and he talks and he takes questions. How is it that nine out of those 10 questions that he's asked, he looks down first? He's got to look down at the answer. He knows what the questions are. Not, nine out of ten of those questions are submitted in advance. He can't yeah. be made to look stupid. <laughs> and when he doesn't know the answer, he gets flustered. You can see it. Oh, that's not in the script. That's not what I'm saying. This whole thing is scripted. It's crazy. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe call me crazy. And Gerald pointed this, pointed this out to me, too. 
that it doesn't take the majority to create a revolution and affect change. That's Just right. the vocal minority. He says three percent. Three percent. I don't know that we're at three percent, but I'm hoping by the time this whole thing unfolds. And you know, and here's the other thing: is we vote with our purses and our wallets, right? Yeah. So if you keep everything inside of the system, that's your vote, right? But if you yeah. pull it out and you have physical wealth in your possession, that's your vote too. That's my personal vote. And food, I mean, food becomes the biggest issue for people during this time, hence the mantra, food, water, energy, security, barterability, wealth preservation, community, which is what we're doing now, mm -hmm. and shelter. That, that's what you've got to have to have a reasonable standard of living or, yeah, to your point, directly controlled by the system and you lose all choice. It's it's a, I don't yeah I think we're pretty much there. I would like to say we probably have one percent right now of the population who really understands <sighs> what we're talking about. I think we got to up that, and this is why yeah, we do. People, yeah, this is why it's so important for people who are hearing this to let people hear this, share it, get it out there, give it a thumbs up here. I, I tell people all the time, you know, you know how the algorithms work. They see a thumbs up, they see people like it, they show it. Uh, mm -hmm. So please, people, hearing this stuff, if this connects with you, get it out there. Share the work. Start talking about it. Uh, that's the only way we can we can get through this and maybe even win. Uh, it's just a terrible, terrible thing to see unfold. I hate it. I hate <sighs> seeing the suffering that people are going through. And it's deliberate. And it's going to get suffering. worse. It's going to get worse. And maybe people will wake up. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll fall to that lower rung of society. Um, I've been warning what, what's going to happen is people, the middle class, the people are going to fall to the lower rung. They try to claw themselves up. They're going to do this by borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. It's right in our face. And they're continuing to do that. So un unfortunately, these people are um, they're becoming slaves to the current system. And uh, un unfortunately, if they, they enslave themselves, they're easy or, or they can be controlled. Oh, exactly. And I mean, that's why going to, you know, I find it so interesting that a lot of talk is about the deglobalization. I mean, I think I read today that Mexico has surpassed China in the U.S. as far as where we're getting our parts and everything from. So onshoring, except that the financial system is still in a globalized march and going toward a one world currency. Mm -hmm. from what I see, where yeah. you get to hold all your equity on your phone. And you made such a brilliant point, is if we do it to ourselves, then what do we do? We blame ourselves. We don't really point the manipulation finger at the true masters, puppet masters that are out there.